This is Mike Hansen with GS Solutions, and we're here today to talk about the differences between the chassis management module and the Flux System Manager within the Flux System solution. Basically, these are two different management interfaces. The first system that we're going to talk about is the chassis management module, and then we're going to jump into the Flux System Manager. The chassis management module is a basic management interface that gives you a fairly clean look and feel to what the hardware looks like and it allows me to manage my different hardware components within my flux system anywhere from the compute nodes which I see here on the front using this chassis map I can see I have several compute nodes installed here I do have room for expansion I do see some coloring here where I have critical alerts that show up within this interface as well as my storage I have storage that's integrated in inside this chassis map and then when we move to the back of the system I can see all my power supplies, I can see my fans and, and how they're running and, and, and such. And then I can see my management interfaces here. Um, on the left, I have redundant management interfaces and then I can see my switches. Here I have a, a one gig switch and then I have also an eight gig fiber switch. So from a basic management point of view of starting, stopping, providing user access, um, to the flex system this is the management module that i would use to do some initial setup as well but now we're going to jump over to the flex system manager and what you're really going to notice here is a similar look to the management interface ibm's done a fairly good job of providing a, a simple and like management interface across all their solutions that they provide so right now we're looking at the flex system manager which is actually a compute node inside the chassis. It's a lockdown system. It's really like a hardware management console system with some intelligence built in. So what I can do here from my Flex System Manager is I can manage multiple chassis. I can provide software updates to all my components. I can provide hardware updates to all my components, both from a firmware and microcode level. All that comes from downloaded from IBM. So this system will provide some automation to how I administer my Flex System. Going down from there, we or across the top here, we can see some different abilities within the Flex System Manager that are not necessarily in the CMM. Um, starting over here, we can see some of the plugins that I have loaded in my Flex System Manager, namely VM Control. What allows me to do from a single pane is to manage my virtual machines from a Unix point of view from the IBM Power footprint. I can also go into my storage control here, which allows me to manage all my storage connected to my Flex System Manager, as well as my network, and then I can jump down and service and support. And then going across the top here, there's a lot of other benefits to Flex System Manager as far as configuration, patterns, and what I can do for automation, as well as monitoring. I can set up monitors and customize my monitors to be able to see what my system really is doing and how it's performing. And of course, I, with like any solution, I can provide some security. I can integrate into my LDAP or my Active Directory solution within my environment and provide users with unique credentials for what they need to do within this chassis. I want to highlight the capabilities of the Flex System Manager over the chassis management module. We've shown that you can apply appliance rules as far as firmware and software, as well as you can provide software updates directly from IBM, download them, and install them onto my system from one piece of management. If you'd like to learn more, you can contact us at www.gssolutions.com.